the making of a six figure speaker. I don't have to guesstimate what this book is about. What's going on everybody? It's Taria Vision Avant and today we are doing another Wednesday book review so I'm super excited about this and I've got a special. I'm going to actually do two book reviews so I'm going to do two for the price of one. So what's up CEOs, real quick, I'm sorry to interrupt the video, but I need to ask you three small favors, okay? Three favors, just three. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button so that you can be a part of this movement that we're doing here. And then also click on this bell so that you can be notified whenever a new video drops. And finally, you wanna go ahead and give us a thumbs up. That would be so awesome, I would appreciate you. So just go ahead and click on the thumbs up and let's get back to the video. Now, if you want me to review your book, all you simply need to do is ship me a copy of your physical book. Preferably, these are the books that I like to review, are how-to books, self-help books, information books. That's what we like to review. But if you want me to review it, go ahead and ship me a copy of your book to the address in the comments below. Now, before we get into this, darling, you know I got to introduce myself. Hello, yes, my name is Taria Vision Avant, and I am the founder and owner of Show Your Success, where we help authors and future authors make money. I believe that everybody in business, regardless of what it, your, whatever your product or your service is, you should write a book. A book is what's gonna help you to gain that influence, to stand out from your, your audience or stand out from your competition. It's going to help get you on media, all types of uh, avenues that you're able to use to leverage your book, to be able to build your business. So, you know, I believe that everybody should write a book. I also believe that you should write the right book. So one of the biggest challenges that I see is that a lot of authors are doing this incredible job with writing these amazing manuscripts, but sometimes they're just maybe missing one one or two small things. So that's what I do here, y'all. I like to be able to try to help you get on, rather, on the right track. And the way we do that, darling, is that I like to review books, okay? So what I'm actually reviewing is not, I'm not reading the entire book. In fact, here's a statistic that's gonna blow your mind. 70% of most people who buy your book will not even read the entire book. And of the 30% who actually read the entire book, they're going to be reading it based on the way that it looks. One of the things I will say is that many of our students who have gone through our university, who have written their books through our campus, they have a higher read rate because the way that we actually lay the books out. So what I'm reviewing are the three main factors that makes a person decide if they want to read or, or purchase your book. What I'm gonna be reviewing is your cover, I'm gonna review the front cover, the back cover, and I'm gonna review the layout of your book. Also, hopefully, if you have some additional bonuses and things like that, I'm gonna give you some additional tips on how to make your book sell even more. Let's get into these books. Now, I like to make sure that I open them live in front of you guys uh, so that y'all are seeing my very first reaction as well, all right? Okay, so the first book that I have, this is from Crowned Financials out of Miami, Florida. So it's a, it's a big size book. It's an eight and a half by 11, I can already tell. And so we're gonna go ahead and open this baby. Ooh, it also feels like it is spiral bound. Yes, it is, it is spiral bound. So the first thing is that she has a spiral bound book. Okay, so this is probably like a workbook, I'm assuming, or without me even looking at it, workbook or a manual, all right? So it is Crowned Mind and Money Manual, Up Ultimate Guide to Overall Wealth. Author is Brittany Green. So one thing about manuals is because manuals are a little bit more work based, right? So you're gonna do work in them. You don't necessarily need to do your um, picture or you know buy a lot of times with my workbooks or manuals i don't put like my name on there on the front or whatever because it's really like a working manual but if you want to it's still fine the first thing though that i do notice is that it is a very nicely designed manual right okay however i'm trying to figure out it says crown mind and money manual so i see the crown um 
However, ultimate guide to overall wealth. So I'm assuming that this is going to be something to help me to make, to get wealth. And so, uh, I would say that this image is just a little bit fuzzy. You guys can't really tell here, um, but this image is fuzzy. So you may have maybe taken it from the internet. What there's a website that's out there, out there. It's called Pixabay. Pixabay allows you to get high quality resolution images that are actually free. Okay. And so I would recommend making sure that every single, uh oh, my text message. And make sure that every single, <laughs> turn it down. Make sure that every single image that you use for your cover is always high resolution because you don't want it to be fuzzy. And the first thing that I'm going to think is if this is a book about wealth, this book needs to look wealthy. So you wanna make sure that your covers are highly pixelated, 300 DPI, and you can actually get those, of course, when you go to websites like Pixabay, and there's other ones out there, stock images that you can look for and pay for, um, but Pixabay will allow you to be able to do that. So we want this to be a little bit more clear. And then I'm sure you probably just included your business card for me, hopefully you don't put that on there for all your manuals and then again it says about the author generally for workbooks or planners I mean you can if it's like a workbook that's aligned with maybe your course but for a planner I generally don't necessarily include my biography um I kind of keep it real simple let me see I'm back so I wanted to show you two examples and these are eight and a half by eleven um, these are actually planners, so not necessarily manuals, um, but I just want to give you, because most of the time, um, the reason why I want to show you this is because most of the time when people see an eight and a half by 11, it's more like a workbook. That's generally why you make it bigger so that people are able to, you know, comfortably write what they need to write. So unless there's a, a specific need for having it eight and a half by 11, you may want to take your manual and resize it. But I do want to give you some examples, what you'll see here uh, on this one, this right here, is basically a workbook right and you see we don't I don't really have uh, my name on it and the back just has pictures of books it looks really nice very good and then here's an example of my workbook slash journal for those who want to actually write the book this comes with a course you see so on the back it just has the company name and it, this one I actually sell um, on, I have uh, it available online, so I put the barcode. I probably won't put the barcode for this one, um, but needless to say, going back to yours, so when you're having an eight and a half by 11, you generally wanna have it, of course, again, because you want people to be able to take notes. Now, I know that you do probably have some spaces on the inside where people can take notes, but I also wanna review the back cover for you as well. So back to the business card, I'm pretty sure, I'm hoping that you do not do this on all your books, um, it, you know, just because you're not going, even, besides the fact that just having to do it, it's going to be difficult to put a business card on every single one of your books. Um, so I'm just assuming that was for me. However, on the back cover, what I do see is you do have your biography of yourself and you have a picture, okay, of yourself as well. I would probably say you also wanna add, if this is a book, uh, information-based book versus necessarily a workbook. You also want to tell the reader what I call qualifiers. Okay. So you want to ask the reader, maybe what are the challenges they're dealing with? You know, what are, you know, are you, do you need to make more money? Are you tired of living check to check? You know, something like that, that's going to get them into what I like to call yes mode. Yes mode. Yes mode. I want to buy mode. Right. And then I also see you on your card you have your website of course i definitely recommend having a website even more so not just any kind of website but like a subscription page like a capture page or something like that and um definitely don't put um any kind of domains though that you don't own so like even if it's your email if it's like a free email i would never list that on my book in fact honestly guys i don't even like listing my emails on my business cards that are free or any of that i like to make sure that i'm using a purchased email domain so you know my company is show your success while we do have show your success i think conference at gmail.com stuff like that we use that internally um, but when i'm presenting this to potential customers or clients i like to use info at show your success if that makes sense so on your back cover i would definitely recommend adding a little bit more about what the book is about versus just what um your bio 
Your bio is great, but you want to add more to it. Um, it says born in Detroit, Michigan and raised in Tampa, Florida. Now, one thing I will also say is that when you're doing your back cover bio, you do have some qualifiers that are good. You're not know, talking about Detroit, Tampa, and you really want to get into what this book is about, um, the bio, uh, you know, specifically to you and the book, if that makes sense. So like, you know, let's say that my book is about, you know, working from home and starting a home-based business. I'm going to go straight into, you know, Taria decided that she no longer wanted to work her job that she hated. And she decided to start her own home-based business in a matter of six months. She was able to make this amount of money, da, 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 da. So you want to get straight into like your, your information about what this book is about in the section in the back of the book if you want to do about the author that's where you can be more detailed about your biography all right so now when i flip open the book uh the first thing is the introduction is on the cover page so it's connected to the cover right and the thing about these types of books where you have the coil um uh, bound if the cover is ripped off or something now the person loses the introduction so you probably don't want to have even though i mean you can lose pages inside too you don't want to have the cover connected to the introduction usually you're going to have a blank space for the cover then you're going to have maybe your copyright page when it's a book right for journals and planners it's layout is different but i still never put the reading information or fill in the blank or whatever it's going to be on the cover page itself um the spacing looks great. I will say that. Um, I like how you have this 2019 crown financials note. No part of this document may be copied, shared. Uh, the thing about that as well, um, most people don't know that once you publish a book, your content is copywritten, okay? So you don't have to write it over and over. You can create a copyright page, and then that is pretty much all you need to do. Um, I do like the layout of the content. So nice spacing, right? I'm big on spacing. The spacing looks great. Part one mindset. You don't have a table of contents, which is not, you don't have a table of contents, which is not necessarily always needed. Um, but this looks like a book to me. So I would definitely recommend that you want to maybe have the formatting to be set up like a book. Yes, you do have a space where you can actually fill in the blanks in one area, I think, here in the book. Let's see. I saw it. You have a couple places. So here, see, where it's like a workbook. And then you have, let's see. It's money time. I saw that real big. That popped out. <laughs> Something in here says it's money time. So that's the only place where you really have where people would fill in the blank. So my next question would be, what would be the purpose of it being an eight and a half by 11 book? Because generally most people, when they see this book, they're automatically gonna probably assume it's some kind of a workbook or things of that nature. Yes, you do have the one area where people do kind of fill in the blanks, but you can also do that in a regular six by nine book. And so you can resize it. But also what is the purpose of you having this? And so, cause it looks to be about less than 15 pages. So what I would recommend is maybe resizing it to a six by nine, if you can add a little bit more content to get it to about a good 50 pages. You know, it doesn't need to be a hundred. I mean, I recommend at least getting it to 50 pages so that you can sell it for a book. I also only sell my books for $20. I don't care if it's 50, a hundred, $20. Okay. Now, if you cannot get it to that size, then maybe I would recommend making this like a free ebook giveaway or a low ticketed ebook that people can actually print out on their own or just read it from their computer. That way you're not having to pay any money for printing because it's only a few pages. You're having to pay all this money to print these books. And I know you want to have something tangible, which I always recommend having something in hand. But this right here is something that is just not something I would necessarily spend money on getting printed. Now, another thing you could always do is if you want to make it a little bit thicker is you can add in some fill in the blank details for it to be like actually like a manual workbook or something like that where people are filling in information. So you can add some additional pages to give it some width um, and, and some thickness to the book. But I would say maybe resize it to six by nine so that you can actually have a little bit more thickness and then maybe add a little bit more content to it. I do like, again, the layout of it. And I really like the way you have it broken down 
the part two, part mark, part one, those little different things are really cute, really sexy. Hello. And uh, yeah, so that's what I would recommend resizing this book for. Uh, for print so that it can be a little bit thicker um, and then of course your back cover making sure that you have those qualifiers those yes qualifiers to get that person excited about reading the book definitely believe that this is great content just from a browsing through it real quick it looks like it's going to be an incredible book that you can leverage for your business whether you're a speaker or a coach you can definitely leverage this it's just making sure we have the right book out the gate all right so I hope you enjoyed book number one. Now we're gonna get into the next book. All right, so let's go ahead and review book number two. So this book comes from Harvest International Ministries and it feels really thick. I think there may be a t-shirt and it feels like it might be two books, like a book and a workbook inside. So let's go ahead and open this baby on up. Let me use my pen. So uh, of course I could use scissors, but not wanting to get up to go get them. Also, for those of you who want to know, uh, I like to ship my books in a box or definitely something like this type of a packaging, um, bubble wrap, uh, just in case, you know, weather, because you know, we get rain and stuff like that or snow, whatever, you don't want your books to get damaged. So, you know, plastic wrap like this is always good. Also, you can use um, boxes and wrap your book in plastic wrap. So these are some boxes that I use to ship my books. Looks like this. See, and it's real simple. You just put your book in there, fold it on up, bloop, 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 and you can ship. The link to where if you wanna get these boxes is down below in the comments as well. All right, well, this is a lot of books. Okay, you gave me a lot. Thank you, darling. Okay, so the first thing, oh! I know, this is one of our T-shirt superstars. Right here, My Grind, His Glory. I love this T-shirt, My Grind, His Glory. I'm gonna definitely, let me put this on real quick. Hold up. Ooh, yes, honey, My Grind, His Glory! Praise them, yes, Hanty, thank you. Okay, and so we have two books here, and this is one of our superstars um, that's in one of our courses, How to Start Your Own T-Shirt Line, and his name is Rodney Middleton. And so he's provided me with a lot of stuff. Okay, so look, a lot, hello, yes, darling. Okay, so we have two, what it looks like, workbooks, two book books, okay? So let's get into this. So we're gonna look at the first things. First of all, uh, I definitely see the whole um, branding behind this. Your colors are black and white, and then we have um, a little bit of gold here, yes. So first of all, Rodney is definitely uh, somebody who's been following me because I can tell, just based on the cover of this title, he has been a part of our movement and definitely plugging into the information. Going from overlooked, and I'm assuming that's to overbooked, the making of a six-figure speaker. I don't have to guesstimate what this book is about. Automatically, no, that's what it is. It's about making six figures, and the cover is real simple. It looks very quality. Hello, that's what I'm talking about, go Rodney. And when you look on the back of it, it also says, uh, you're a problem solver. We need to understand that you're not just a public speaker, but a private problem solver. Most wealth is obtained from people who serve other people's problems. And you definitely give us some really good detail. You know, some, um, I always recommend as well on the back cover, you have the bios. One of the things you also want to include is not just the bio about you, but also what's about the book. Why is the reader going to want to read your book? So what we want to do is when I'm looking at this one, it, t it definitely says you're a problem solver and expand your audience learn how learning how to close and then it has a short bio about Rodney senior pastor international empowerment speaker da, 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 da. another thing I would even just maybe add is maybe where you have the um, like the the titles of each one of the paragraphs maybe have those pop out right or maybe say something like are you a problem solver get people in what I like to call yes mode are you a problem solver uh, do you want to expand your audience do you want to learn how to close when speaking and so you make it a question and then you can, you know, have the same bio and then maybe even make it the same gold so it pops out a little bit on the back cover. That's what I would add. 
And another thing, just like what um, on our previous book, you wanna have your contact information on the back. So not necessarily a business card. You don't wanna, cause you're not gonna be able to attach a business card to all of your books, but you do wanna have a website, your social media, because some people may not have purchased the book, but they may see the book and they wanna, you know, it may, it may not be their book. So they were gonna take a picture real quick so that they can get the details. When I flip on the inside, also the layout of your book is amazing. It looks really, really good. Yes, honey. Your your layout of your font, your text. Also, you have your subtitles. Um, it just, it, you gotta be one. Hey, Roddy, are you one of our students? I think you are. Okay, so I know he's our book students. So you see he has this layout right here. And when you look at it quickly at a glance, it looks so easy to read. And so you're like, oh, this is an easy read to book. I mean, easy book to read. And so definitely kudos to you. I would just say, Rodney, add a little contact information, bold out or change the colors of the beginning of each paragraph and make them questions, qualifier questions, so you get them in yes mode. So this other one says, the little black book, how to hire yourself, Rodney Middleton. And okay, so this is the cover. Real simple, um, how to hire yourself. So I'm assuming this is, you know, how to hire yourself like to start your own business. So even with this, now that one is very specific. This one, kind of not really sure, only because it's called The Little Black Book, How to Hire Yourself. So you may wanna add another sub chapter to it, maybe saying something like, you know, um, how to quit your job and start your own business you know, how to be able to launch a success. Like, what do you mean by hire yourself? Is it hiring yourself as, you know, be able to ri rise in the corporate ladder, hire yourself to what, do your own cleaning? So you wanna be a little bit more specific on that. And then um, the back cover, you do have your picture and your bio, but we don't we don't have the same thing like you have on this one where you have qualifier questions. You wanna get people when they're looking at the back cover to be in yes mode. So you wanna, you know, are you tired of your job? Yes. Do you wanna start your own business? Yes. Are you not sure, but you know that you're ready to get started today? Yes. And so you wanna have those qualifier questions. And then again, you wanna have your contact. So I do see you have eye to eye publishing, Rodney Middleton, your signal, oh, that's cute. I like that, that's nice. But you also wanna have like your contact information. Don't recommend any like Gmail emails, but you know, if you're gonna have an email, you need to have it to be a custom domain email. Don't use anything that you don't own. With that said, because I do know that, you know, for example, like a lot of times you might use like facebook.com forward slash username, right? That's also a domain that you don't own, right? And so the challenge with that is what happens if Facebook changes their domain links, how you go to the person's page. So you wanna make sure that even when you're doing social media, so one of the things I like to do now is instead of having my link, I'll just have my username. So it'll say something like just Vision Avant, right? So instead of having all of the facebook.com forward slash because they could change it, I like to just use the username. And then I definitely love the fact that you have your author's journal, super dope which y'all know I'm all about creating journals. That's another stream of income. Yep, author's journal, real simple. Future, author, future bestseller author's journal, that's perfect. And then my grind, his glory, you have a notebook. So this is awesome, especially now, where's your public speaker's journal, right? So you wanna have a public speaker's journal as well, or if you're saying that you're gonna use it in conjunction with your public speaking, like what we have, we have an author's journal as well. Um, but I also, it's just, um, it's just for journaling. So what I do for a situation like that, you might even maybe want to add in some additional steps or how to's or tips that you can include with this journal to give people some guidance on what to do. But I love these, um, these journals to go along with your book. I love what you're doing. Um, and great job. So that was awesome. Congratulations to both of our authors in the reviews, Rodney Middleton and Brittany Green. You guys did an exceptional, exceptional job. And if you do make your updates, make sure you let me know, okay? I would love to know what updates you have made and also keep me posted on the sales. By the way, if you have not registered and you are an author or a future author for the Show Your Success Conference, you need to do so, darling. Go to showyoursuccessconference.com. This is the conference specifically designed for authors, coaches, speakers that are serious about taking their businesses to the next level. 
You're gonna learn everything about automating your business, using social media. You're gonna learn how to develop a talk that's going to make you six figures. You're gonna learn about also getting your website and your branding, everything that you need so that you can be successful. How to get your speaker sheets printed, how to be able to create the proper speaker sheet, right? And then get it printed. Guys, these are things that you're gonna need to know when you're developing your career as an author, speaker, and or coach. All right, so register by going to showyoursuccessconference.com. And other than that, my darlings, that is it. All will be well. Deuces.